Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. There's a web website for Chris Ann. Chris Chris Ann with an E dot com. On there. Feel free to freeze frame if you need to to work that out if you want that information. Supportive Oracle cards. Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. Website, I think, is shewhoisart.com. There's a couple others there, so if you're interested, feel free to check those out, whatever works for you. What do we have for Gemini? This is a little bit saucy. What's going on here? Be careful what you manifest. Eh, I was I wanted to say be careful what you wish for, wish for, but It's about keeping what you want. This is more about keeping something. Maybe keeping control. This is where you're heading towards. Manifesting with the uh, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like the energy needs to slow down. This is a slow. This is a slow situation. It doesn't move forward very fast. It does develop. It does seem to do what you want it to do just not very fast. It's very slow moving. Um, and it's annoying. You got the devil card here. And it's kind of like, I don't know if this is working for me because it's taking so long. Keeping this going seems, it's like it's a long haul. It seems to be taking a long time. Is that the biggest problem? Because Gemini is really good at seeing different ways to do things. And I would, I usually think of Gemini as like, if, if you've accepted that a situation is going to take it some time, for example, I love cooking analogies. You're making a pie, right? So you're like, you got to let this rise. You got to let that rise. You got to let this come together. You know, when the pie's in the oven, it's got to cook for so long. When it comes out of the oven, it's got to cool for so long. You know, whatever. But when I think of Gemini in those type of scenarios, it's kind of like, well, when this is going on, I have to pay attention to the, like, the stirring of this and the stirring of that, so I have to be right there on this. But when it's baking, I set the timer, and then I, can, I set it for as how long I feel is necessary before I have to check it, and I can do this over here, and I can do that over there. Maybe I'll get a couple dishes done from what I was making stuff. Maybe I'm going to look into this and get that started while I'm doing this. You can kind of like, you know, mix it up and get some other things going and keep yourself pretty occupied. That's kind of like your strong suit, kind of like, all right, well, this, this is what this is. So what else can I do in, like, in between the lines here to keep myself occupied and keep the situation moving forward? But something with this one, it's just kind of like, I feel like I'm waiting for paint to dry. And it's just like, not only am I waiting for paint to dry, but I feel like I painted myself into a corner. And it's kind of like, oh, it's not fun. Um, that's why we started with the, okay. That's why we started with the Four of Pentacles with the manifest. Be careful where you're manifesting yourself. Don't paint yourself into a corner. Accept what the situation is before you ever get there. And instead of looking at different ways to do the situation, look at how you can reorganize the situation to like, while that's doing what it's doing, other things you could do while that's happening to keep yourself occupied. Am I saying this right? So like we're gonna use the pie analogy. Instead of like 
or actually I think the painting analogy is better. Instead of looking at how much you have to paint and getting all that done in different ways you could paint things and you know painting the floor and all other stuff and how you can do this and this and that and all the different designs and colors you could use, decide on what you want, this color, that color, this is what I want done. And then think of yourself, think of how you're going to do it plan out how you're going to do it where you're going to have like well while that's drying I'm going to do this and while that's drying I'm going to do this and when this color's there I'm going to do this you know we're going to do this part when that's happening like structure like accept it what it is see it for the structure and then weave yourself in and out of that structure it's kind of like if I'm, I feel like I'm saying it wrong I really feel like I'm saying it wrong because you don't want to paint yourself into a corner but you don't want to like think about all the different ways of painting yourself into a corner. What you want to do is like, all right, this is how I'm going to paint myself. This is how I'm going to paint the floor. I'm going to do it like this and make sure that I can get out of the room. And then I have this stuff over here I'm going to do while that's drying. And I'm going to actually go have some dinner while that's doing. Like, you know, I think we're saying it right. I don't know. I feel like I'm confusing it. Because they're like, be careful where you get yourself secured. Because you're going to get stuck at some point. It's all about where you, wherever you get stuck, making sure that you can use that and not get stuck by it. You don't want to end up with this this five of pentacles, kind of like, oh, crap, now I'm here. I painted myself in the corner, and now I have to wait. And like three, four hours go by, and you're like, I think I can walk across it now. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, ugh. Uh, or I could just mess it up and do it again. I guess whatever works better for me. Um, You want to be st stuck in a spot where you have more ability to just create something else or occupy yourself. Like, I keep getting this idea that, like, I'm painting myself into a corner. Because it's like, this is one of those things where I'm going to say, say you're painting yourself into a corner. It's not just like you painted the floor white, just for argument's sake. You're way too creative for that. You had designs and patterns and colors. You did, you, like, this was not a simple paint job. There's a lot going on. So it's like looking at this, like, I'm not going to walk all over this. If I walk on this, I put a lot of work into that. I, I have to wait. It's kind of like I'm, I'm going to ruin it if I walk over it. It's like it's not just white paint. It's not plain white paint. It's kind of like you have symbols and colors and this and that and all the. Gemini is very complicated. That whole thing you made is complicated. I don't, I feel like whatever it is you have, you don't want to mess it up. You don't want to like damage it. So you're going to be stuck waiting for it. All it is is taking like, seeing it for what it is, deciding on your plan and then working around the plan. Like I think, I, I keep feeling like I'm saying it wrong. Cause it's kind of like, you know what has to be done, but you might get caught up in like all the different ways of getting it done. But and by the time you decide to do it, you're going to paint yourself into a corner. Instead of doing that, going, okay, this has to be done, pick the, the one that makes the most sense, stick with that plan, and then step away from that, work on all the things that you would do around it. I hope I'm saying it right, because I feel like if I say it wrong, it's just going to not work. Um, so it's like, all right, this is it. It has to be done. That's the plan. Stick with that. Cool. Then work with all the space around it. Concentrate on all the space around it you can utilize that to your ability. If you can do that, then your sun card comes in, then the ace of swords comes in. It's not only going to be your best outcome, but I feel like it's kind of like, well, I'm working on the house anyway. So while that's drying over there, I'm going to go downstairs and fix this ledge. That wasn't right. I'm going to go check on this, and I'm going to go fix this other pump while I'm doing that. And then you know what? I can go, you know, look online and see what type of furniture I want for this. And you know what else I can do? I can go grab my, I can go order some dinner and have that, you know, delivered. And I can eat that. By the time I'm done with all that, I can come back and I can do the rest of this room. So that'll work. You know what I mean? Not only do, instead of just sitting there for three hours, just going, well, I guess I'm doing nothing, just sitting here. You get yourself in a position to where you can not only, you know, enjoy it, but you can make so much more out of it. So that way, you know, when the day's over, you're like, I got most of the situation taken care of. Instead of being like, well, today I only got that done because I painted myself into a corner. If that makes sense. Yeah. 
I think I've already explained this. Because I, I, got, I got another couple cards explaining it. It's kind of like, you're going to get stuck waiting for the paint to dry. Might as well turn it into a blessing. Work with the space in between. Work with the space in between. Same thing with this. The situation is going to take its toll. I mean, it's going to have a lot of work that has to get done. There's certain things that just have to be done in their own process. Paint has to dry. It's just how it is. I mean, you could try getting some fans in there to make it quicker, but it's still going to have to dry even with the fans, and you're going to have to wait some time. It's not going to be instant dry. Use your talent to work within the spaces in between. I feel like I, I just have to say it right. I think I have by now. If I haven't said it right by now, I'm just not going to say it right by now. I feel like I have to say that. Because they're saying, don't get, out, get caught up with like what you don't like. Accept what you don't like and work with the other space around it. I feel like if I say it right, it'll work. <laughs> it'll just work. Like, Accept what you don't like, the best plan, and just move away from it. Work with the space around it. Concentrate with the space around it. All right. I'm going to let that go there. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email, same email. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.